Have you ever thought about moving to the Orlando, Florida area and you're looking for your biggest bang for your buck? Welcome, Welcome to St. Cloud, Florida! Everybody, it's Kim Hawk and I'm known as YouTube's Fairy Godmother of Real Estate and we are here in St. Cloud. Now what do I know about St. Cloud? Some of my favorite people live here. My brother and his family have a home just a couple of blocks away from this marina. Ken Gilbert, who you're going to meet on this video, he's here. I begged him to come live in celebration and he said, absolutely not. I love my St. Cloud. And then my fairy goddaughter of real estate, Chelsea Brooks, she knows this area. She lives in this area and she absolutely loves the character of the homes and the opportunity that you're going to get more land. So what else do we know about St. Cloud? Well, there's about 55,000 people that live here. It is the 55th largest city in the state of Florida and the average age is 35. Hmm. I wonder what the five is all about in St. Cloud, but I can tell you that most of you might be saying, what's the affordability in Central Florida? Because you've heard all these stories about all of these bidding wars. Well, there's so much that's being built out here in St. Cloud. We want to talk to you about Sunbridge, but there's so much more. And everybody that lives out here, boy, they say they wouldn't want to live any place else. So the history of St. Cloud goes back to 1909 when a developer came in and purchased 35,000 acres for the Grand Army of the Republic. This was basically a fraternity of Union soldiers from the Civil War. So this was really built as a colony of Union soldiers. And what they did was, on the grid system, the north-south streets were all states that were from the Union. Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New York. And then it, as the town expanded east and west, they started adding some of the state names to the streets that were from the Confederate. So you can see right next to me one of the many historic markers that's located throughout St. Cloud. They're very proud of their history, where they've been and where they're going. There were so many Union soldiers here that there's actually a cemetery here called the Mount Peace Cemetery, where there are over 400 Union soldiers that are buried, which makes it one of the largest in the entire nation. in historic downtown St. Cloud. As you can see all around me, the small town center is vibrating and bustling with the whole town out today. It's full of tons of restaurants that are locally owned and operated. The small 10th Street Deli behind me is a hot spot for any local produce and awesome sandwiches. There's tons of shops that are family owned and operated as well. There's a local honey store. There is small antique shops that are run by locals. So if you get a chance, come on out and visit. Lavender Patch is a cute little shop on Pennsylvania that is actually mother and daughter owned and operated. Come on in and check them out. They've got all kinds of beautiful clothing and handbags and soaps. Come out and check them out. As you can see, the city organizes monthly markets like this the last Wednesday of every month and all of the local businesses and shops come out and come together with the community. So Theater in the Cloud is the first community theater in St. Cloud's history. What we do is we put on three theatrical plays every season. We do that all around town. We put on events. All of the new people that are moving in, it allows us to be here and give them something to do and come out on beautiful Florida days like today. What's your favorite thing about St. Cloud? Oh man, the sunsets on Lake Toho. Yes. They're some of the best in the world. Like I have traveled the planet and the sunsets that are here 
are absolutely incredible. They really are beautiful. Well, thank you for talking with yeah. us. We appreciate it and good Chelsea. luck. Yeah, thank you so much. Come see us at the show. Make sure that you subscribe and like so that we can continue to give you up-to-date information on all things that are going around the 25-mile radius of Cinderella's Castle because this is truly a magical place to live. So it is Chamber of Commerce weather here in St. Cloud, Florida. The breeze is beautiful. It's about 74 degrees. And here, you're really not that far from the theme parks. I can get to Walt Disney World in about 30 minutes. I can get to downtown Orlando in about 35 minutes. Orlando International in about 30 minutes. And let me tell you something. My brother travels to Universal Studios because he's one of the engineers on some of those really cool rides that are out there. And we grew up right outside of Washington, D.C., so 35-minute ride is not that far of all, especially when you get to see this utopic background. I'm here with Ken Gilbert, who was one of the first people that I met when I moved here 35 years ago to That's Orlando, fun. Florida. That's You're a founding resident of Harmony, which yes. is fairly close to here. Can you tell us a little bit what it was like to raise a family in Harmony? It was lovely. We really enjoyed the, the nature trails. We enjoyed the, the, the lakes and all it had to offer. We were one of the first hundred people in the town of Harmony. Now there's over 3,000 to 4,000 residents and it keeps on growing. So now you live here in St. Cloud. So what took you from Harmony to this beautiful little community of St. Cloud? We've always loved St. Cloud and St. Cloud's gonna be our forever home. We moved uh, right down the road, about seven miles from Harmony. And we've been here for almost four years. I'm just so excited what the city has to offer and what it's going to bring in the future. The Place for Grace Ministries was founded by my wife and I 12 years ago to help the folks in St. Cloud that needed a hand up, not a handout. We have free GED classes here, we have uh, free computer classes, we give scholarships to local uh, colleges, and we also feed the homeless and needy and give clothing away. We do have a thrift store in here that also uh, helps support A Place for Grace and all these lovely people in St. Cloud are the ones that donate the goods for these services that get sold. A Place for Grace is somewhere you gotta come visit in St. Cloud, it's one of the staples of, of the city. One of the cool things about St. Cloud and the State Streets as we come down Florida Avenue is each of the houses is a little bit different. Um, you've got some of the older homes that were built in 1910, all the way to new construction as of today. Each one of them has their own personality and their own characteristics. You've got your craftsman style homes, your, your small Florida cracker homes, You've got the bungalow style homes. There's just a different variety here on the state streets, which is something that you don't find everywhere. It's really awesome to see. One of the one of the comments that we get in regard to St. Cloud is they love the fact when you've got properties that aren't right up against one another. Um, so potentially quarter acre, half acre, a lot will make a difference versus a zero lot line. And so you're going to see a lot of people enjoying having that yard, having that she shed. I love the fact that people can have sheds out here because you're going to need it in order to be able to mow your grass. Welcome to St. Cloud. Hey guys, we are standing here at the lakefront on Lakeshore Boulevard in St. Cloud. We are on the shoreline of East Lake Toho, which is 2.5 miles of gorgeous lake shoreline. Right behind me is beachfront that they have available with beach volleyball. They also have an extensive parks program in the area. One of those parks is right next to me as well. There's a splash pad with a playground that's awesome for kids of all ages. Well guys, we're gonna give you a little bit of a teaser. We're out here at Sunbridge, which is going to be a gorgeous development. It is something that's going to span two counties between Osceola and Orange with multiple neighborhoods. Right now, there are two under construction. There is Dell Webb, which is a 55 and up active community that's partnered with Advent Health. And then there's Westland Park, which will feature five different Florida architectural styles. So this is the start to Westland Park. This is going to be the second phase of Sunbridge. These homes will be very similar to those that you see in Laureate Park in Lake Nona. But the one thing that sets them apart is that it's a more laid back lifestyle out here. If you don't want all the hustle and bustle of Lake 
like Nona, this would be the perfect spot for you to come and find a home. So if you get a chance to come out and take a look and possibly visit base camp here, they'll give you tons of information and then stick with me and I'll give you updates. We all know now it's pretty possible for you to work out of your homes. With high-speed internet, you're able to work and then you get to have this living environment where you can play and relax and enjoy your life. Make sure you get to visit this marina and make sure you visit St. Cloud, Florida. So thank you guys so much. Your time is so valuable to us. And for those of you that might be looking to buy a house in the St. Cloud, Florida area, look no further than the fairy goddaughter of real estate, Chelsea Brooks. I want you to give them their telephone number so they can give you a call. My number is 407-694-1721. Wonderful. And if you guys would be so kind to subscribe and like, that would be greatly appreciated. And make sure you stay tuned for our next video because I think we've got a lot of good content for you. Have a great day.